Father, we thank you for the greatest impartation that you could give to each and every one of us, and that is your love and your word. And so, Father, for that, we thank you. Now we pray for this family that has come together this morning. We pray for the unity of that family and the blessing of that family, the vision of that family. We pray for that head of household, and we pray that that man of God or even maybe that woman of God that is the head of that house, we pray that you would strengthen them, direct them, give them clarity, give them understanding, and so that they would be effective in what they do in leading that family. We pray against division in the family. We pray against what the enemy would ever try to do to that family. And we know that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. And so, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the strength and the unity of this family forever being solid and never divided. Lord, we pray right now for each family member concerning their health and their longevity of life. Health can be attacked by virus or by uh, some inheritance in the blood. And Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that the power of the blood of Jesus and the strength of your word be ever present with inside of the bodies of these individuals. You were wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon you and with every stripe we are healed. And so, Father, we declare that healing over each individual. We come against the mindset of healing. It is a mind of infirmity. The enemy trying to convince us that the sickness is unto death, that the sickness is always going to be there. But, Father, we know that you are a healer and you're the God of all flesh. So there is no condition that you cannot heal and there is no problem that you cannot solve and resolve. So, Father, we pray right now against the spirit of infirmity, whether it be in the body or in the mind, whether it's something circulating as a generational curse. Block it and move it out of the way so the people of God can walk in the integrity of healing and in the power of your word. Father, our prayer right now also is for the grieved. As I have ministered and talked to several people this week that have had loss of loved ones and they're grieving this week. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for those individuals that, that you would be comfort to their heart, direction to their spirit, clarity to their thoughts, that you bring them into a place of balance even when they're trying to figure out how is this really happening or is it really happening. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for those individuals that, that are grieving, that the power and the strength of your love would be with them, would guide them, and that you would remind them for the spirit of heaviness that we put on the garment of praise and that praise may be difficult initially for some individuals but yet because it shines through it is like a light to darkness and it literally runs every shadow away father we pray right now in the name of jesus that you would touch our country as our country is going through such a turbulent time, but one that is necessary to bring about some level of healing and deliverance and to destroy old wounds in our country. Father, we pray right now for the leaders of our country. We pray that you would get inside of them and guide them. Bring this country into a place of balance. We recognize right now that it is Satan that is a divider. It is God that is a uniter. And that wherever Satan is trying to divide and whatever method he is trying to use to bring some level of division, Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that he will not be effective. That in every temptation, in every test, you said you have provided a way of escape. Lead us into that way of escape so that we're able to bear it and go through this and come out with victory. Father, I pray for every man and every woman. The only race that we're concerned about is the human race, and what that race needs is the blood of Jesus. 
to bring about healing and deliverance and restoration of mind and even taught things that should not have been taught to them. Lord God, destroy what the enemy is trying to do. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that the power of your love supersedes every power of hate in our country. And Lord God, as that power, because you've given us in the United States a responsibility to evangelize the world and be the lamp of the kingdom of God, Lord God, now the lamp needs more oil. We need healing. We need deliverance. So Father, trim our lamps. Bring oil into our lamps so that we carry the flame of the word of God and the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit be a fire that moves to every heart and to every mind. Father, we know that when we pray that things shift and change, the world doesn't see it and the world doesn't understand it and we're not asking them to. But Father, what we are asking is that you hear our prayer as your representatives on earth, as ambassadors of the kingdom of God, as the salt of the earth. Lord God, we don't want to lose our savor. So Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your anointing and your power moving in us so that we recognize that every life matters to the kingdom of God that every soul needs the salvation of Jesus Christ and the word of God and to operate within the principles of the kingdom. Father, we pray right now that everything that the enemy would ever try to be effective in, to divide and conquer, that he is a failure. God, we thank you for Satan losing in the family, in the community, in our country, in the individual. For every nation starts with a person. So Father, in the name of Jesus, be what we cannot be. Do what we cannot do. Lead where we cannot go without you. And we forever give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.